How's it going? Today we're going to upgrade the outdoor kitchen. That has been one of my favorite projects so far and I thought it was time to make it a little bit better. So stick with me and we'll get it built and once it's built we'll put it through its trial run see what works and what maybe doesn't work. Maybe have some tasty food while we're at it. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Finally getting started on this project. This is an idea I've had in my head for quite a while now, pretty much ever since I built the outdoor kitchen. When I built that, I wanted to have an oven in it, but I just didn't put in the thought on how to make it work, so I didn't do it. But I did come up with an idea for a portable oven smoker. Basically, it'll just sit on top of the grill and use the heat from the grill. This larger sheet is going to be the front of the smoker. It's going to come down and cover the firebox. What I'm doing now is laying out the door, making a center mark, and then measuring from my center mark each way for the edges of the door. I'm going to cut the door out of the front of it. That will probably be one of the last things I do because I want to bolt it together all in one piece so that it's rigid. These two pieces are going to be the latch and the handle. Pretty simple, just put it in the vise and bend a small offset in each. This is going to be the handle. Pretty simple setup. It's just a small chunk of wood. I'm going to drill a hole in it big enough for the bolt to go through and spin freely. Put a nut on it. I'll round it off a bit, smooth it up with my belt grinder, but I'm not going to make it too perfect. I really don't care. I just want to keep from burning my hands. I built this belt grinder primarily for making knives, but honestly, I use it all the time for all kinds of different little projects. It's a very handy tool. And there it is, a very simple door latch, and that's all you really need. Just use a straight edge. These are all going to be angle brackets to bolt the whole smoker together. I'm going to have it welded, but I want to have it bolted together so that whoever I get to weld it doesn't have a lot of extra work to do. It'll be quick and easy for them. Pretty close to 90. Poor Charlie can't come in. There's too many metal shavings on the floor. I use this square to get the angles lined up as close to perfect as I can right to the edge. It worked pretty good. Oh, 
this. That ought to work. Once again, I had to cut the cooking grate down. This time though, I left the outside ring long. That way I could bend it straight and re-bend it to support those outer barbs. I'm gonna tie it all back together, make it one piece again. Found a better way to do this. Got this spacer to hold this from getting sucked too far down. Wrap it around tight. brackets that are going to hold the grade out. I wasn't sure how high to mount the brackets for the grate. If you put it too high, you can't fit a tall item in there to cook. If you put it too low, probably going to burn. So I just kind of guessed. I think it should work out pretty good. This is another reason I didn't want to cut the door out. Leaving the door intact makes it extremely easy to line up the hinges. The door can't move around, just lay out the hinges, mark the holes, drill the holes, and they're pretty much perfect right off the bat. Finally ready to cut the door out. I'm happy to say that's the last thing I'll be using the cutoff wheel for. Happy not to smell that for a while. Look at that, the door works great. It's nice to see it finally coming together. These need some kind of wooden handles so you don't burn your fingers trying to use them. Lucky for me I've got all this knife making material. I'm just going to put some handles on just like you would for a knife. I'm going to epoxy them and pin them. For pins I'm using roofing nails because they're very cheap. I'll get these handles clamped up, let them sit for a day, let the epoxy cure, and the smoker needs some handles too for picking it up and setting it on the grill. I've got my handles finished up. They're, they're not perfect. And I honestly don't care that they're not perfect because they'll probably get kind of ruined with the weather anyways. I'm gonna put some tongue oil on them. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty nice looking. 
This is going to be the exhaust damper for the top of the smoker. What I'm doing is just cutting out a circle with a little tab that can be bent for a handle. I'll put this hole in the center, then cut the circle in half just past the hole. Then it can spin on that center and open or close the exhaust. One thing I found out down the road is honestly I wish I would have made a bigger hole in this for an exhaust and a bigger cover. It seems like it could definitely use more vent. That covers building it. Now I'm going to take it down to my cousin Derek and see if he can help me weld it. How much it will work if I just do one solid run? I will be doing actions. But with it being just big flat plate, it may work. Gotcha. Makes sense. Welding is something that I've never learned how to do. And after doing this project, I really would like to. I think it could be a lot of fun. Open up a lot of possibilities for cool projects. Did you hit over here? Yeah, I went right <laughs> past. Getting kind of globby. <laughs> you might want a little bit more of an angle. This way? Yeah, just, just a little bit more than you had. And point right through that very corner. Right where, oh, they, yeah. right where they meet. Yeah, I wasn't even looking there. I was just kind of standing straight on with it. Maybe that'll help. Better than I expected. Yeah, that machine works great. Yeah, it does. It is more of a machine than, than me. After a little bit of grinding and a little bit of cleaning, I'm ready to start painting. A great job to do in the summer outside. Horrible job to do inside in the winter. I actually used my leaf blower to try to blow some of the fumes out periodically. I also just set it on the bench and left it on, pointing out the door, and that helped a bit. Really what would help the most would be getting the right respirator for painting. This respirator, I found out later when I went to replace it, isn't even meant for painting. I didn't feel very good the next day, and I would definitely suggest getting the right equipment. This was pretty miserable. Well, this is more like it. One last handle to finish up, then I can put everything back together and take it out to the cabin and give it a shot. This thicker plate is going to act as a heat shield. It's going to sit above the fire but below the grate so that everything doesn't burn instantly on the bottom. It just feels so nice to get out of the garage and out of the workshop, out to the cabin, out in the woods, starting a fire and enjoying a Beautiful sunny day. Doesn't get much better than that. Looks like my measurements are right. It's about a perfect fit.
Maybe it needs a chimney to really draw the smoke out. I suppose you never know until you try, right? Things that work and things that don't. And I think pizza might be one that don't. Not with the door shut. Maybe I just need to keep the door open and the pizza won't get so smoky. Hmm. Maybe I need to put more holes in the grate to let more heat up. Okay, too much smoke. I think you gotta keep, cook a pizza with the door open because that looks disgusting. Nope, need the door open, need more heat. Have to try again. All right, my first attempt at making pizza on this turned out pretty bad. I think just, I think the way pizza ovens work, they have the door open so that it doesn't smoke up so much. It doesn't make your crust all oily and nasty. So I think what I'm gonna do is load it up with a little bitty kindling, get a raging fire in it, leave the door wide open and try to cook it that way. It may turn out that this thing's just more of a smoker. I was kind of hoping it would be good for an oven and a smoker, but I guess you never know until you try when you're building something from scratch. It's just kind of an idea. All right, I'll let that get going. So I put the pipe on top, see if it'd create a draft. It kind of seems like maybe it did. It's kind of hard to tell. Either way, this fire is raging pretty good, so I'm gonna throw it in. See what happens. I think I need more exhaust. I'm starting to think it might be working a little better. Looks like it's cooking well. It's not bad, but it's still, it's taking a little too long to cook. It's getting a little too much smoke. But let's see how it tastes. Not bad. Next time, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna put drill a bunch more holes in my heat shield down here so that it gets more heat faster and I'm gonna try to smoke something in it next time so we'll see how it works thanks for watching glad you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time Charlie want some oh, good boy maple good girl